A, it's A, and welcome back to Podcast with the Pisces, Episode 7, and I never really give, um, well, first of all, good to be back and have the energy and focus to, to do this stuff again, um, that little update, but that's, that's not the, that's not why I'm having this episode to talk about, so I usually don't give my opinion on these kind of issues, just anything political, um, in fact, if y'all didn't know, um, I did graduate with my bachelor's degree in political science, so I did learn a little bit of um, politics, not just, that's not saying that like, oh, he knows more or whatever like that, but I, I did study this stuff, and like, it grew me into um, this person that has like, obviously their different beliefs, um, what, not what's so much right versus wrong, but so much of like, okay, like I, I think of like the stuff before the whole opinion of right versus wrong kind of thing, if that makes sense. And definitely grew up from uh, my environment and what I've been taught. Definitely, like I have differing opinions from what I would have had way before. And, um, and it's part of the growth process. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out here for my own opinion uh, for this matter, discussing this issue. And it's... Today, um, June 24th, if you haven't heard, the Supreme Court has overturned Roe v. Wade. Now, my opinion on this is strictly like this, this isn't right. So my, my whole thing is just like, um, do I believe that, uh, that abortions and whatnot is moral? I don't want to say moral, but like, do I believe, I mean, like, personally, I don't really like it, but my beliefs on... A women should have a, their choice to choose what they want to do with their bodies is so much greater than that other feeling of like uh, how I feel about the actual process because in reality the I don't know this really pisses me off and I, I thought about it like this morning because like everyone's whole thing and like the whole um I guess like argument that was always brought up to me when I grew up was just like oh it's not the it's not the baby's fault it's not the baby's fault but I'm like bro women are not objects Women are not these these beings that just produce babies and children. Like, no, that's that's not it. Women are beings. Women are people. Women have their choices. I don't understand why that's such a big thing here. Like, that isn't is mind blowing to say that. Like, no, like um, it's that's how I see it. Like, you're telling me like, okay, like I get it. Don't get me wrong. Like, I don't really like I don't like the whole procedure or anything like that either. But the fact that, like, you're overseeing the fact that you're pretty much calling, like, a woman an object by saying that. I don't, I don't like that. I, <laughs> that really pisses, that pisses me off. Like, thinking about it, like, more this morning, I was, like, thinking about that, and I was just like, no, like, women have the right to choose what they want to do with their bodies. Like, and if we were to take this back, honestly, let's put it this way. If, for whatever reason, um this was something that had to do with men, like men having to not be able to choose something that they could do with the body. Come on. This shit would have been overturned like a long time ago. Like we, we wouldn't, it wouldn't have been like a discussion. It would have been like this fight that it currently is for women. And that's ridiculous. It really is. We are literally in 2022 and we are still not seeing equality between men and women. And that's it's fucked up. Simply put, it's fucked up. And with that being said, we, we're already looking at it, and there's already comments being made from the justices. I believe it was Clarence Thomas that was already, like, looking, like, oh, hey, like, we were able to do this. Let's start looking at the other stuff, same, uh, same-sex same marriage and contraception for um, married couples. Like, come on. Really? It's 20-fucking-22. Get out of that. Like, I don't I don't understand it. And what's ridiculous now is if y'all, y'all didn't know... But the Supreme Court, so, like, they're not voted in or anything like that. Pretty much, you vote for that. Whoever, if the the justices happen, if one of the justices happens to pass away, or they happen to, um, I don't know if they can retire, because it's, like li- it's a life term. So, if they pass away, whoever the president is at the time, no matter what party it is, is able to appoint who they want to get into that position. And... Like, honestly, like, I'm a little bit more liberal, and I always, I'll, like, lean towards that way. And so, like, my whole thing was just like, oh, well, like, you know, it's mostly, 
that sort of party. So, I mean, we have really nothing to worry about. And seeing this now, it's it's ridiculous. It's so bad. And back in 20, what was it, 2016? No. Yeah, 2016 when I was still in college. And there were, like, all these young women who were just, like, they were afraid. They were pissed off when when this happened because they were already predicting this shit like they already knew they were like no like you guys don't get it like this is gonna like this is gonna be a problem later on in the future and fuck all of them were correct because look what happened today and it's it's just mind-boggling i don't know as like a single person i wouldn't really know what to do um to fix that my my heart goes out to all the women honestly because like this is this is not just like a religious matter or anything like that. Like this is a health and safety matter. Like, w like there's still gonna be abortions regardless, but now women are gonna have to find unsafe means to do them if they're underprivileged, if they're women of color. Like if they like if we're, we're thinking about like um, uh, transsexual lives too. Like they, you gotta realize like they're gonna want to seek these these operations and they may not seek them in a safe way. And that kills them as a person. Like, come on, like, there's a reason why this was made. It's because that way women, young women, women, whoever, was able to do, or able to do these procedures safely. So that way they could save their lives. And it just, it pisses me off even more because, like, I've looked, um, I, it, I can't think of the word right now. I'm gonna have to look it up. But simply put, like, I've taken class, like, I've took human development, like, it's it's really difficult to get pregnant and like the whole not I don't want to say process but like the whole um nine months and everything like that that women have to go through is insane like it's it's truly insane what they have to go through like all the and then all not to mention all the risks all the medical risks for like them as a person and and the child going with it so we talk about like miscarriages for instance where like if the um the cells of the fetus if anything can't come out of the woman like it needs to be removed guess what that's an abortion it needs to be removed because it can kill the woman so another thing that i'm looking into this is what popped up and like this was something i learned in that class and it just it blew my mind um i i really hope i don't butcher this but like e ectopic yeah ectopic pregnancies which is pretty much when like the cells start growing outside of the uterus and yes, like this is a thing. Like they they ended up showing us a video in class where like there was literally like a foot, just like one foot, like out, like out and about, and stuff like that. Like for instance, like the women, like if they're if if they are looking to be um to like if they ha if they are looking to have a baby and like looking to be pregnant, and then they have this uh, ectopic pregnancy. Literally, like, it's not their fault at all, and it can kill them if it's not removed. Guess what? That procedure is an abortion, and that's something that I don't understand, like, how there's people higher up in us in this government that, like, can't see that stuff. I don't get it. Like, it's as someone who's religious as well. Like, I I follow politics. I studied it. Like, it is a split between church and state. Like, they're supposed to be separate, and I I, I honestly don't get how how much this religion, like, how much religion, like, got into this, because this, it's, it's too much, like, when the Constitution was, was made and ratified back so many, so many years ago, and there's different ways you can look at it, you can look at, like, oh, like, these are what the Founding Fathers meant by this Constitution, or you could look at it, there's, like, different ways of looking at it, or there's another one where, like, well, they might have meant this, but we're in these, these kind of times now, so what do they mean in these kind of times, and, like, the thing is, it's just, like, the Constitution was made for the country, for these people to have rights, men, women, whoever, to have rights, and to throw religion into that and just say, like, oh, no, but wait, this is, um, this is, like, these are the results of a higher power, like, it's, you're really trading on all these people who, who these rights, like, they belong to, and it's, it's just insane to me. I really don't know what to really say, I think, honestly, at this point, like, the, truly, like, the, I don't want to say, like, the worst thing, but, like, honestly, something that could happen that would cause change is simply fucking overthrowing, and now, I know that sounds, that might sound ridiculous to some of you, but that's really it, because, I mean, I, personally, like, I don't know any other way to change processes for, like, Supreme Court justices, um, to, like, actually, 
like take out life terms or whatever else. I don't know the processes for that. If there is one, hey, we all need to fucking move towards that to get rid of this life term bullshit and to get rid of this, um, the president appoints them. We got to get rid of that shit. And I don't know any other way to do it. So, so I'm honestly, that's my own opinion. Um, if y'all got some stuff from it that my, like, like my whole thing is just like when I have these like debates with people and stuff like that, it's just like, I always have my ears open and I always listen. Um, uh, yeah, I may not agree with you. And if I'm simply able to prove a point to show like, look, this is where you're wrong. And if you're able to keep an open mind and keep your ears open and listen, like, yeah, you may not agree with my proven point. Or I might not agree with your proven point, but as long as you're listening and you're like, oh, wait a minute, let me think about that like later on and stuff like that. I have no problem with that. So I hope people were able to listen to this. Like if you had differing opinions or if you had um, similar opinions and, and it was just like more to think about. But simply put, like I don't have sisters or anything like that, but I have best friends. I have family. I have cousins. Um, if I have kids, like I'm going to like if I have a daughter, like this is something that. Like, I think about for them, and it's it's honestly mind-blowing. And I really hope, like, something gets done. As for the state of California, I know that they, the state of California really stays with um, giving the rights of women to go ahead and do this. I know that there's going to be people that are going to be protesting that, and this just gave them strength to do so, and it's, it's not going to be pretty, that's for sure. And there's going to be states that are, like, supporting this overturn, and they're going to make it illegal as soon as they can. I just, I hope that all you, all the women out there that are listening, or even if you're not listening, I just need to put that out there, that my heart is with you guys, because this, this is fucked up, and this is wrong. And, yeah, guys, um, I'm not okay, but that's okay, but this, for one, is sure not.